Hello student. Uh, today I will come you to join the class 220702. Uh, this is the part of uh, animal. My name is uh, Dr. Desha Tabanya. Uh, I would like to talk to you about the, the classification theory of the animals. Well, this is the introduction. Uh, the taxonomy on systematic right now, uh, this is the knowledge that show about three parts. Uh, the first one is classification. In in this world, we have many organisms. Then the classification is important to uh, to separate them for the groups like this. Uh, the second uh, is identification. Identification is the how to how to identify, uh, how to point the important part of organism. What would it look like? Uh, like a human human uh, we have the the identification of human that's different from dogs or different from birds and the last one is a nomenclature nomenclature is about uh, to create the name for living things uh, we have the common name like this picture is the ladybirds but uh, scientific we also have the scientific name for for the the name that are uh, scientific use and well why taxonomic important for us the first one we still have many living things left in the world every day every week we found a new species then when we have the new species found we, we have to categorize them the second purpose of taxonomic is the for international communications and uh, the third one is about the uh, taxonomic is the the background knowledge that's important from other side like uh, genetic like uh, ecology like uh, uh, microbiology or the others then taxonomic is important and the last one for conservation if we don't know about uh, living things uh, if we not the proper name for them it's hard for conservation purpose well this is a part of animal uh, everybody passed many course about uh, plants or uh, the previous uh, about the microbiology right now I uh, want you to know I need you to know about the, the animal in, in this world we have many kind of animal uh, like this one in this row show the, the common I think everybody knows uh, uh, for pictures, uh, this is a common animal. But anyway, in, in this world, we still have many organisms that uh, sometimes we never found, sometimes it is the very rare to find. Then uh, I show the, the common but and the, the special. Well, for, for the animals right now, we approximate we have animal around 1.5 to 1.7 million species of animals and uh, this is uh, the, the number that we know but uh, I think we have more than from the better equipment right now we have the drone technology we have a submarine that go deep to the sea and found many new species uh, we have many equipment that that expand our sense to find the new one are uh, the better equipment uh, increase the chance to find the new species of animal uh, three is about the more explore uh, human explore to other parts of the world uh, I think this world we, we have the human footprint all entire the world already and from more explore we found the new species because the world contain many types of habitats then this world have many kind of species. We have uh, sea, we have ocean, we have uh, mountains, we have a uh, cliff, we have a uh, stream, river, uh, many kind of habitats. And each habitat contains specific animal. Then this world have many kind of animal. And well, uh, this animal they have different character. Uh, like this one, the, the pig different from dog, different from uh, hen, different from birds. Then uh, each species contain the unique characteristic. This is the why we need uh, 
name for international uh, because we need to international communication uh, like this picture uh, in, in Thailand we we uh, we call it uh, non uh, this is a geometric mod but uh, geometric mod you 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 can know only uh, England uh, if you go to uh, Germany you go to Japan they also have the the different name then we need the specific name that we can use worldwide like uh, a species name like this uh, this species be uh, they, they have a name uh, Pingasa Ruginaria then this is only one name for this species then for scientists for, for scientists or uh, we can use this name to communicate uh, to other uh, entomologists around the world. Uh, this is for standard international communication that uh, this important of taxonomy. We have a uh, standard uh, criteria for all living things in the world like uh, animal. Uh, this uh, butterflies belong to uh, animalia kingdom and on the uh, Arthropoda phylum. Uh, this is the, the ranking of them. This is a standard taxonomic rank that every uh, organism, uh, every, every also every plant, every uh, microbe or every protozoa, we have the same standard taxonomy. Well, this is the third reason why we need taxonomic because taxonomic is the, the basic side that uh, that help the other science like uh, ecology, physiology, uh, also many, many kind of uh, biology. Uh, like uh, this fish, if we not have the uh, scientific name, we, we cannot read the, the paper, something like that. That is uh, why we need a taxonomic idea. And the last one, the last lesson we need for conservation. Uh, because uh, every single animal, they have specific niche in, in, in ecology niche like uh, the property of of uh, animal that different species have different niche uh, then uh, if we uh, know them well and uh, if we know the name we, we can conserve them and like this uh, if we uh, cannot conserve them alive in the in the forest or in, in the river we can keep the collection of them in the museum for uh, study purpose or if we can conserve them in, in the nature, we can do. Then this is the importance of our taxonomy. The taxonomic idea, they have a long history. And since uh, Greek, uh, Greek Empire, uh, before Christ, uh, 300, around 300 years before Christ, uh, the first biologist that set the system for living things is uh, Aristotle. Aristotle, he grouped animal to be two groups. The first one is a vertebrates and the second one is a invertebrates. This is the, the first time systematic in, in the world that uh, help human to categorize animal to, uh, to the group. Well, but it's not enough. Uh, that, look at this. That at that time, uh, Aristotle separate vertebrate and invertebrate to only two groups and uh, passed around thousand years to colorless Linnaeus age. Linnaeus is the second scientist that set the system and the system that he creates uh, very famous and uh, acceptable until now. Uh, at that time uh, Linnaeus uh, published uh, the book uh, System and Nature that include many kind of uh, species both plant and animal then uh, this book uh, become the, the the first book that that will be the guideline for taxonomic until now and Linnaeus he create the new scientific name system his system uh, was useful and acceptable in science and be used until now and right now for for the animal we have the uh, the group that taking care about the scientific name, especially for animal. Uh, this agency is the International Commission on Zoological Nomenclature. Uh, this agency, this group, 
uh, they take care about the the category of animal uh, linear system uh, he separate the animal to be six group the first one is uh, mammalia I think if we know mammalia uh, except well at that time whales belong to fish uh, and but but right now we, we know the, the whale is a mammal Okay, uh, at that time, whales and uh, manatee belong, belong to fish. Uh, the second one is the bird groups, uh, not include bats. Okay, uh, the third one is the uh, amphibia. The fourth is the pieces, uh, fish. The fifth is belong to uh, mostly insect and many arthropods, uh, crustacean, shrimp, crab, arachnid, uh, spider, myriapods is the centipede and millipedes. And this is the, the fifth group and the last one the, the sixth group is belong to the worms um, at that time linear set every worm something like a worm to be the same group nematoda uh, flat worm brow worm uh, annelid and uh, he include in the same also include some mollusks and some uh, echidoderm uh, to be the, the the worms group next Hundred years from Linnaeus belong to the Charles Darwin. Uh, Charles Darwin, he also the famous scientist that uh, create many ideas. The important idea that created by Darwin is the the original of species uh, from the long exploration by uh, ship uh, to many uh, Iceland around the world. Uh, Charles Darwin found many knowledge and the important knowledge is uh, the the evolve of new species uh, he found the speciation he found the connection of birds that a uh, long time ago this bird may be in the same Iceland but when the Iceland separate each group of these birds belong uh, they have their own way to evolve long time past uh, the, 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 the birds is changed and the, they gradually change and create the new species. Then this is the, the content that include in in the Darwin idea. And this idea, we use this idea in, in taxonomy right now. Yes, uh, the birds that I talk is a finch. They have the common ancestor and from separate. Uh, this bird uh, separate uh, to in into the small uh, small Iceland and long time past each bird they evolve in in different way uh, until they they become the new species next hundred years uh, this the we have a uh, billing Hennig and he is the philo systematic uh, Hennig he include the idea of a uh, cladistic uh, the connection of each species and uh, Hennig he he, his idea he is talk about each species if they, they have their own the same common ancestor okay this is the idea of of Hendrick that uh, be used in systematic and taxonomic now the most popular ranking from uh, 17 uh, linear age to now uh, 19 age uh, we take we take he also the scientist uh, the Whittaker system is the right now this is a popular ranking. Uh, Whittaker idea use this idea to to teach the the high school or the first year student. This is the five kingdom system. The first one uh, animalia, plantae, monoran, protista, and fungi. I, 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 I already know the the system. Uh, the system is. They have many advantages. The first one, the five kingdom system, uh, acceptable by scientists and easy to understand. Then we can use this system to to teach the the uh, high school student around the world. And the second one, uh, this system they separate uh, the prokaryote because the the prokaryote like uh, monoran they 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 set in one group. The other is a, a eukaryote. Okay, then the system is separate prokaryote to, to one group, uh, and set unicellular eukaryote to one group. Uh, 
the clinon protista. Clinon protista is the, the unicellular organism and they also eukaryote. Uh, the fungi, algae, protozoa, they have own plant and animal also separate. Then the, the five kingdom system is clear. It's quite clear and easy to understand by high school or uh, first year student because uh, five kingdom system, they use the criteria of cell organization, trophic status and ranking of evolution. They, they, they use this criteria to, to set the five kingdom system. And anyway, uh, this system also have the disadvantage because uh, the first one, uh, monoran and protista is sometimes not clear because monoran and protista group, they, they are the very, very big group. Uh, monoran uh, bacteria, some bacteria is uh, autotrophic, some bacteria is heterotrophic, but they're not separate, they, they still put it together. Also like a protista, some protista can uh, can create food and some protista cannot create food. Monoran and protista still not very clear if we look inside uh, these two kingdom. And five kingdom, they have not clear relationship between the other kingdom like fungi, plantis and animal. Uh, they they not not concerned too much about the, the relationship, and also uh, they not show a relationship between the multicellular and protista. And many species sometimes they put in the in the wrong place like uh, warworks and chlamydomonas. Sometimes uh, they put this uh, this organism to algae, and sometimes they might be a protista. Then uh, some some species belong to two kingdom. Some some of them still not clear, and they also not have the place for virus. Then this is the disadvantage point of the the five kingdom system. Uh, next from five kingdom system, we create the uh, new idea about taxonomic. We add many idea of physiology, ecology, uh, evolution, uh, especially for genetics. From the study of uh, deep into genetic, deep into DNA, we found the relationship. Then from this area, we create the new systematic. Uh, this is the modern classification. Right now, the new systematic is the domain system. Uh, the domain system still hard for 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 uh, high school, but but right now some 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 school they 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 taught then already. Uh, right now the the system that uh, scientists use is the domain system. Uh, we separate living things to a three big group: uh, archaea, uh, bacteria, and eukarya. And animal is right here. We belong to uh, the group of organisms that uh, have eukaryote. Uh, this system, they clear the weak point or disadvantage point of Whittaker system because uh, this system uh, focus on uh, bacteria group mostly. Uh, they separate bacteria to be two group. The first one is archaea. Archaea is the, the ancient bacteria and the bacteria is uh, the, 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 the quite modern bacteria, then they, they focus mostly on, on bacteria and separate well in into groups and the others put the same together. Okay, then the domain system is is, is uh, acceptable right now. Well, this is the system that I think everybody know. Uh, the taxonomic ranks is important for us because all living things, uh, both animal, plants, and the others, we also use the same uh, rankings like this. Start from the species, species every no. A species is the, uh, belong to one species. Uh, genus, families is a uh, chain to be a group. Okay, uh, right now I'm going to talk about uh, animal. Okay, uh, why animal different from plant different from uh, bacteria different from protozoa. Uh, the animal, uh, this is a characteristic of animal. Animal are the multicellular organism. Okay, many cell, 
many cells. We, we, our, our body is composed with many cells. And every cell is eukaryotic. Eukaryotic means they, 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 in, in nucleus or uh, organelle, they have the sac. Okay? And most animal can move. Uh, we call motile. Uh, this is the, the clear characteristic of us, not, not like plant, plant, not, not so much motile. Not like animal, we can walk, we can run, we can fly. Anyway, animal cannot synthesize food. We, we cannot synthesize food by our body. If we want to survive, we have to eat. Then uh, every animal need to eat a food. And, uh, the, the big one eat much <laughs> like us, and the small one eat the other smaller nutrient. Okay, then uh, we, we need food. And also, uh, the animal uh, from the uh, from the step of food chain and food web, uh, the animal belongs to the, the consumer. Uh, we, we can eat uh, plants, a uh, plant is producer, and animal uh, act like a, a consumer, primary consumer or secondary consumer or maybe tertiary consumer. Right now, uh, the system of animal, uh, the high school system is the nine phyla. Uh, I think everybody learned, and in 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 high school we know uh, the animal from sponge to caudata, but right now we have around thirty two phyla. Uh, 